Hola mi gente and welcome to Siempre Infinitos DIY. My name is Maria. So today's video is going to be in honor of Mexico's Independence Day and I am going to be making some Mexican sprinkle cookies and some sweet bread. With all of that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to be leaving a list of all of the items that I use in this video in the description box down below. Also links to where I purchase some of the items from. So first I'm going to make the Mexican sprinkle cookies. When I was a young girl, I remember every Sunday my parents would wake up early in the morning and drive to the nearest Mexican bakery that was about an hour and a half away from our home. The memory of opening that box and seeing all sorts of fresh bakes is what inspired me to make these fake Mexican sweetbreads. Now that you have seen how easy Mexican sprinkle cookies were to make, I am going to also show you how easy these pan de dulce are to make. Pan de dulce means sweet bread in English, but to be a little bit more specific of which bread I will be making, it is called concha, which means shell in English. So I thought that if I would mix those two colors in together, I would get the color that I wanted, but apparently I did not. I wound up actually using golden brown um, after I molded my sweet bread into the shape that I was looking for. And it's like a dumpling, if that makes any sense. Uh, then I went ahead and let it sit dry and then I painted it. Uh, but here as you can see, the only thing I'm doing is just trying to shape it up into, like I said, a, a, a dumpling and this is all you need really uh, just your hands um, and just rolling it back and forth and just pressing it down because it did kept rising up on me and I actually wanted it to uh, be the size of the cookie cutter. So now this part is going to be the top uh, layer that's going to go on my concha and once you um, cut out your round piece you just want to smooth out the edges now because i changed my mind you will see that i chose the color brown and this is very easy to do uh, with when it comes to the lines all you want to do is just press down slightly you don't want to go all the way down because uh, you do not want to cut the clay uh, once you do your lines, then just 
place it right on top of the concha and seal it with the Mod Podge. Here I'm showing you a mini one and uh, I am going to do the exact same thing. What I did to that mini one is just again add the Mod Podge and sit it to the side and as well paint the bottom part because I prefer this color over the color that I have originally have made. Now I already pre-made two conchas and I put them to the side and this is the pink uh, layer that's going to go on top. Now this part is uh, a little bit difficult only uh, because the clays kept getting stuck together uh, and it does help if you have uh, one of these flexible uh, clay cutters. If you do not then you know you can still use a regular knife uh, but I did notice that it was a little easier for me when because I'm able to bend that uh, the, the knife uh, but again you know if you don't have one that's fine you can still use a regular knife Out of the three patterns that I made, I love this one the most because it looks more like the real concha. The only thing it took the longest because I had to cut my pattern into many pieces and had to make sure that they were all the same distance from each other. It also helped that I had a flexible clay knife. It made it so much easier for me to cut my pieces in an angle with a very thin blade. Last but not least, I'm going to make my favorite, and that is the gingerbread pig. Now, in Spanish, it is called maranito. It is also known as the porquito or the cochinito. Because the cookie has a thick, glossy look to it, I am first going to use a clear wrap, uh, and then that's going to help it give that thickness to it. After that, I am going to add mod podge and to give it that glossy look And here is an even closer look of the Mexican bread and cookies. And as well as you can all see, we have come to the end of another video. But first, before I say my goodbyes, let me say thank you so very much for allowing me to share with you all a part of my Mexican heritage. And until the next video, stay safe, be kind, bye.